Hey guys, this is my newest project for my camper. I took off the three-way handle pump thing that had a little switch in it. Uh, so when you pull it up, it would activate the uh, pump and water would come out. Or you could hook it up to city water. Or if you didn't have power at all, you could just pump it up and down and then the uh, water would be suctioned out of the um, water tank that's in here. So last year when I built the camper, when I rebuilt it, I put a, a pump in. So there's my 12 volt pump. Okay. Yeah, and I get this idea from a guy on YouTube. He hooked up uh, just a normal kitchen faucet. And uh, so basically when the pump reaches 55 pounds of pressure, it shuts off. If it goes less, it turns on. Uh, so basically if you let me put my water container in. If you turn the, the um, spigot on here, the water, uh, right now nothing happens because right, I have a cutoff. He had a switch on the side. So that way if the hose sprung a leak, it wouldn't keep pumping and pumping and pumping. So you had a safety switch. I have a safety switch too, but mine is a foot pedal. Okay, so you can't forget to flip the switch your foot has to be on that pedal. So if I put my foot on the pedal, you can hear that pop. That was basically the pump saying, hey, I'm ready to go. There was low pressure. And since the spigot is closed, um, it stopped because it built pressure back up. So now when I turn it on, see, shut it off, reaches max pressure simple and the foot switch is just a safety so again if you spring a leak the, the pumps aren't gonna keep going it can't because your foot's gotta be on the pedal so that's my my newest uh, project um, I just have to do a, little, a few more tests uh, one of these days I gotta hook up city water and open up this valve and I want to see if water will backfeed all the way to the storage tank I want to see if the uh, the pump will stop the water from backflowing in there if the pump doesn't stop it then I gotta put in one of those backflow valves and I don't want to do that because I think it kills my pressure coming out of here because um, you still have to give it a little pressure to open up the valve for the water to go one way but it's not supposed to go the back the other way so I think it's gonna kill my pressure here so I gotta test that but basically if this is shut and you got city water going city water shouldn't be able to get back through as long as this one's closed um, but I'm worried about if someone left it open just a little bit that you know wouldn't be good if water actually started filling up in the tank and then overflowing or something so that's about it so little pedal I think the pedal was 10 17 something like that. I don't know. It was cheap. It's got a spring in it. It's kind of heavy. Grips pretty good. I'm not going to mount it. Uh, if anything, I might just do two sided tape. But this way I can move it to get the cover off. So, it's the only place I could put it. I couldn't put it on this side because of the door. Um, so, I just ran it underneath the heater and popped it in right there. So, that's it. Um, so let me know what you think. See ya.